Today, we will be live building a Facebook ad campaign with you guys, specifically for Shopify, uh, with purchases, you know, going after purchase conversions, everything like that. You know, keep in mind, this can be applied to any account. We run the same exact structure for Legion, for personal brands, things like that. The only thing that changes is the objective itself. But yeah, so with that being said, let's dive into this. I'm gonna kind of go over the full thing, you know, we'll be going over today. So you know, obviously the first thing you want to do is your research, your market research is what allows you to, you know, pretty much create the ads and stuff that you'll be launching today. We want to identify about three to six completely different ad angles. We can position our product into the marketplace from our research. And, you know, we want to look at the desires, what people want in the product and everything, and then what we can push those onto our product itself. Then we're just going to simply create those ads. We're going to create basically one ad per ad angle. And then what we're going to do is we're going to launch a CBO campaign, which we're going to show you, you know, now exactly how we do that. Um, CBO campaign, one ad set, broad targeting. We're going to run that for seven days. And then we'll start our DCT testing, dynamic creative testing and stuff, which I'll also show you guys today. But yeah, so... You know, that being said, assuming you get the research done, you got your first couple ads created. Let's actually go in the ad account. This is one of our ad accounts that, you know, pretty much just used to play and, you know, make YouTube videos with. So, you know, nothing too crazy here, but you know, this video, this video can be beneficial for people starting brand new accounts. This also can be beneficial for people that are actively doing our setup and stuff like that. So either way, it, it's, you know, it's good for you guys, but we're gonna create a campaign. We're gonna click on sales really quick. We're gonna go to name this campaign. I always like to add my agency initials. You can add your store initials, pers personal issues, uh, issues, whatever. So I'm gonna call that prospecting, you know, it doesn't really matter. Boom. And then what I'll do next is I'm going to name the ad set. I just like to call it zero one. Uh, we're going to be targeting USA. So I'm going to do USA. We only want to target one country at a time. Mel plus female. This product is 18 plus. So I'll do 18 plus broad and then AP for automatic placements. And then we're going to optimize for purchases and then ads. I'm just going to call this ad number one for a second really quick. Continue. I want to do a manual sales campaign. Main reason why I want to do a manual sales sales campaign is purely because Advantage Plus prioritizes more middle funnel, bottom of funnel. So it's it's good for a sprint, but it's not good for long term, and that's what we want. We want something long term, or you just be consistently frustrated and constantly having to relaunch campaigns, and just it's a fucking mess. I don't recommend that at all. Okay, cool. Campaign details. We do auction, campaign objective, sales. We're gonna turn off use a catalog, and then from here we're gonna turn on Advantage campaign button. Budget, set that up whatever you want um, i'm gonna do a hundred dollars a day you can start off with ten dollars a day look full transparency if you're spending less than fifty dollars a day like you know probably facebook guys ain't the best thing for you but i'm gonna do a hundred dollars a day that's typically where i start all my campaigns off at highest volume or value campaign bid strategy go right here it's ad sets i'm just gonna do a website I'm not gonna do website and shop if you have success with shop cool you can do that if not then we'll just push whatever you want, you know, for pixel cafe, whatever you want to call it, all of that. I just use the native Shopify Facebook integration feature. Don't really see a need to make a video on that because pretty much everyone who watches channel already has that installed. And, you know, quite frankly, you're just not my ideal audience. If you don't even know how to set the pixel click through seven days, view through one day when you get charged, boom, I'm not going to turn on dynamic creative yet. And then from here, start date, I always like to start off at midnight. I don't know. I just like having everything start off fresh. Boom, audience controls here. This is where we're gonna go into this. We're gonna click on edit. Let's see, hold up. Let me switch to original audience. All right, cool. Reason why we switched to original audience is for the exact same reason. It prioritizes more middle funnel, bottom of funnel content. Due to that, all we're gonna do is we're gonna see a higher frequency out the gate and it's just gonna force impressions on people that just technically don't want them. So this particular product that we're pushing in the United States, I always recommend one country per campaign, get successful in one country before you expand to other countries. Age, this product is 18 plus. You know, I rarely ever edit age unless I'm dealing with a product that's 21 plus or something like that. Or, you know, we have this one particular client that sells ambulance insurance and we have to target 60 plus for legal reasons. But yeah, so for the most part, I'm leaving it 18 plus. Gender, if you're specific to a like, you know, if you have a female clothing brand specific to females, then cool, do female or vice versa for men. This product is unisex, so I'm just gonna target all. Again, I don't do any targeting at all. The only thing I'll do is I'll just do like, you know, purchase 30 day. I'll exclude that. Uh, wait, that's why I'm spelling it wrong. Purchase 30 day. And all I'm gonna do is exclude this audience. There we go. Um, and then turn that off right there. So make sure you can exclude people properly. Exclude. There we go. 
Cool. United States, boom, placements. I leave AP on, or Mac placements on. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, go to next. And what I like to do starting off is I like to roll with, uh, what you call it? I like to roll with, you know, if I'm doing a brand new campaign. And again, this is not like, if, if you already have an experienced account, you're gonna run with the next setup, which is dynamic creatives. This is more for people that, you know, starting brand new account, you know, more of like a beginner solid thing right here. So select your Facebook page, select your Instagram account, select single image. You can leave multi advertiser ads on. I don't see any problem with that. And then we're gonna go add media. I have a couple things we're gonna add today. We're just gonna upload desktop and there we go. Got a couple images here for you guys. And have a couple videos as well for you guys okay cool so i have my couple photos uploaded so i'm just gonna go ahead and create these do original for that do original for that next all right cool and then done all right now what i want to do is i want to import my body copy all right cool let's see what's that url there we go. As far as, you know, should you link to the product page or the collection page? It just depends on what's going on. This particular right here, we're going to be pushing this product, but let's actually grab, I have a best sellers page for this website. So I'm just going to copy that and then boom. All right, cool. Now, what I like to do for primary text and headline, primary text, I like to just add a little bit more to the creative itself to so celebrate the infinite memories that lie ahead. There we go. All right. That's pretty simple, pretty straightforward headline. So what I like to do is I like to write something on the body copy that just goes with the creative itself. And then the second thing I like to do is for the headline is I like to give a reason why people should click the learn more button or shop now button. You have to keep in mind that this is the hook right here. Just so it stops people's attention. The whole visual itself is the second thing that stops visual. So like that people's attention. So all of this is what stops people's attention. And then here's just to add a little bit more to this. This is pretty vague what I have right here. So, you know, I just kind of did something similar. And then the headline, this is a reason why, okay, I'm aware of an infinity sign, you know, I'm sold on it technically. Now, you know, the headline is just a reason for them to click. Now I've seen quite a few variety, you know, you can do something like get yours today surprise your sweetheart something simple like that i've also seen stuff like uh, order now and get free shipping i've seen that work really well yeah i'll probably do that right there call to action do shop now i'll always do shop now and then pretty much that's it if you're on like triple well or anything like that you can add the url parameters and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load in my next couple ads in here. And all of these ads are gonna be completely unique from each other. Cause again, each one should be testing a different market hypothesis from your market research. If you're not doing that, then you're making a big, big mistake right there. And look, some of these are gonna be images. Some of these are gonna be videos. All I'm doing here is I'm just testing very different things from my research. So I'll do one more in here for you guys. Boom, boom, boom. All right, perfect gift for your sweetheart. Give her something she is not expecting. Okay, cool. And then I'll write a body cop for, for this. Uh, perfect gift for your sweetheart. Give her something she is not expecting. Guys, if you want to make her scream this Valentine's Day. Yeah, we can do that because Valentine's Day is coming up. There we go, boom, cool. And I can leave order now, get free shipping, boom. And then just to show you guys, bah, 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 me putting a video in here as well. I think we'll click like this, add video, upload. All right, cool. Now we have a video. All right, cool. Got a short little video here. Nothing too crazy. Just get girl talking the thing. How do I sweep my partner off their feet? We'll do something around that. If you want to make your partner watch this, let's try that. Boom. There we go. For videos, I like to do for like the body copy and stuff. I like to just add something here, like something that tells people to, uh, you know, basically watch the video. Also, I, I even try something like this. You want to make your, there we go. If you want to make your partner fall in love with you again, with you again, you need to see this. All right, cool. So what I'll do is I'll upload in all, you know, three to six ads. I mean, that's typically what I go for. Just make sure I show you guys this really quick. Three to six different ads. Um, I'll do up to 12, 12 as, as the max, but assuming you're going to spend like a hundred something dollars a day uh, for that. What I'll do is I'll publish that and I'm going to run this now for seven days. Right. And that gives me enough cycles in the marketplace to determine a, what got the most spend, but no purchases or B what got the most purchases. So ideally I'm looking for an ad that got purchases. That's going to give me the most confidence in this performing. But if there's no purchases at all in seven days, 
what I'm looking to do is look at the ad that's getting the most spin. And I'm looking to create iterations off of that because if it's getting a lot of spin, that's showing that a lot of people are resonating with this ad, but it's just something that's lacking the conversion power. Um, so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to build a new ad off of that that has a better conversion power. So let's just fast forward. Let's just pretend seven days went by and let's just pretend that ad number three worked amazing. So I'm leaving this ad set on. That's cool because this is my new control and everything I do now is to beat this existing control. So how do we beat this control ad set? All we wanna do here is to load in new creatives and these new creatives, the whole goal here is to beat what's currently working. So let's just pretend ad number three right here, the video, let's just pretend that this video got the most spin. Maybe a purchase or two, maybe it wasn't profitable. Maybe my target ROAS was a three and maybe we got a, a one. So we really need to improve this, right? So what I'll do is here is just simply go ahead. I'm gonna leave all that on because my goal is to build and beat that. I'm just gonna go and create a new ad set. And this ad set is gonna be called DCT01. You can actually do two zeros because you're likely to test a lot of DCTs over time. And what we wanna do here is same setup, boom, website, pixel, make sure you're selecting purchases, regardless if you're a new account or a brand new brand. And what you wanna do, come here and click on dynamic creative, click on continue. Same thing, you can select this to, to run at midnight, all right? And then here, make sure you switch to original audience because you know Facebook is gonna go ahead and, and select that for you. You know, add your exclusions, which is purchase 30 days, boom, there we go. And then from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our ad itself and then here, select your page, boom. Okay, cool. Now let's say, let's see, let's go over here to videos. And like I said, our video worked really good. So let's go and make three new creatives around that video. So we know the video worked well, but we only tested one hook. So let's start off with testing the hook first. And what we're gonna do is gonna create three videos. So we had one video, we identified that the hook could be better. So we went create three new videos, exact same video with just a new hook on it. That is all we did because we know the hook is responsible for about 80% of performance. So, and again, you want to do three and you do not want to upload the original video back in here. So like this was the original video and here's our three new videos. And I'll show you guys really quick. Let's see, let me turn this off and let me add in a URL really quick. Here we go. There we go. So exact same video, just new hook right here. And you can see right here, I got three versions, exact same length because they're exact same video with just a different hook on each. So first thing I wanna text. Now what I also wanna do is I wanna pull in the existing winning copy. So here's the existing winning copy. We're gonna pull that in. We're gonna add that as the primary text um, and we're gonna pull in the existing winning headline. Okay, order now and get free shipping. Oh, we made a mistake. We forgot to change the call to action to shop now, but that's also something else you wanna do, all right? So you have three videos, you have the winning copy and the winning headline. Now you wanna add in a new primary text as well. So that way you can also test new primary text. If you have no new primary text to test on an iteration, so like this is an iteration right here we're, we're doing. If you have no new primary text to text, that's okay. You don't need to add it in. But if we're testing a whole new concept, then I would likely wanna add in a new primary text as well. So it just kind of depends on the scenario right there. If it's a whole new concept, we never tested this concept before, I would add in a primary test uh, text to test. If, uh, if we're just doing an iteration on something we already know works, I likely probably want to add in a primary text or a new headline. We'll just use the existing one that worked well. So sometimes it's three, two, two, three new creatives, two primary text, two headline. And sometimes it's three new creatives or three creative iterations with one primary text, one headline that just, we know it works already. So just being completely transparent with you guys on how that works. And what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and publish this and we'll let this DCT run about seven days. Every week we upload one to two new DCTs into this campaign. And our objective here is to find a new DCT that works at scale. So let's just go back to that prospecting really quick that we created for us today. And you guys can see we uploaded this new DCT. I don't know why it's learning because I put it as 12 AM, my bad. But yeah, so, you know, that's our original top performer. Our goal with the DCT is to beat that best performing ad set. If we never beat it because it doesn't get much spin, that's not because, oh, this is performing really good and Facebook doesn't want to spin on this. It's, hey, this is weaker compared to this and this doesn't deserve the spin. And that's totally okay. Guess what? We're gonna turn it off. So we test two new DCTs a week. If they don't, if they don't take majority of spin, we turn them off. 
and I'll actually show you guys and let me turn this off really quick just because I don't actually want to run this. I'm going to show you guys an actual ad account really quick. So here's another ad account we're actively spending on. We're spending about $12,000 a day here. Let me show you guys yesterday, $13,000 a day. So let me click inside of this. We built this campaign exactly the same and come in here. So here, you know, you can see this ad account, our main, and we found new winning DCT. So dynamics, and we've been working on this campaign now since literally all the way back in April. Um, I think it was like April 1st was our first one we launched. Yeah. So you can see right there, 104 is one of our first ones and stuff like that. And, you know, we've tested now, I think 80 DCTs, you know, in this particular campaign right here. So we just keep looking to find more that work at scale, take majority of spin. We run them for seven days, we turn them off. They don't perform well. You can see 180 right here. We launched this one, I think, Tuesday, Tuesday through Friday, we didn't really see it much. And then pretty much on Saturday, 180 took off, got majority of spend. I mean, $10 cost per purchase. We literally went from a 2.2, 2.3 row ass with the store to a 3.5. I'm doing like 10K a day now in profit right there. Um, and y'all can see pretty much from Friday or Saturday till today. It's been taking majority of spend within a couple of days, you know, was that 13th through the 17th. It's about four full days. We spent $33,000 on that one concept, that one ad right there. And it's been doing really well. So yeah. That's pretty much how you go ahead and how we run Facebook ads. So we identify those angles, we create those ads, run them in the CBO for seven days. Then every seven days, we just launch two new DCTs. We run them for a week. If they don't take majority of spin, we turn them off and then we go to the next week. Now, what we're going to do is going to keep looking at finding new winning ads. And as we get good performance, we just keep scaling by 20%. That's it. We keep it very simple. We keep it very repeatable. That's how all my students do this, how all of my clients do this. And we've been running this structure now for about two years and we've been seeing amazing performance inside of the Facebook ads and stuff like that. So I think the only way you can go wrong with this is a, you run ads for seven days, you don't see any results, you get discouraged and you try to go find something else, which, you know, all of our focus here is the creative. The creative is what is the king. That's what creates the impact in the business. So, you know, we're testing one to two new DCTs. It's about three to six new creatives every week. It's about 24 creatives a month. And a lot of you guys are testing like three creatives, getting discouraged and then boom, you're done. You quit. So that's also another thing. Make sure you're testing, like you have enough budget to test for like 30 days. Don't just try to throw something up for like seven days, blow your budget and have nothing to keep testing with. So the likelihood of you finding a winning ad in, set in the first seven days is very low. So that's why we want to figure out what's giving the most spin, what's giving us some success. And we want to build off of that. Again, that current ad right there is the standard or the control that we want to beat. So a winning ad is not necessarily profitable in the beginning. It's just something that's giving us purchases. So like, for example, we have a target ROAS of 3X. We're getting a 1X right now. Well, the 1X is our current best result. So our objective here is to beat that 1X. Then you find an ad that does 1.5. That's your new winning ad. Then, our, then we want to beat to 2X. You know, whatever your target row ass is, that's what you want to do. You just want to keep working your way up that ladder. Then once you start getting profitable ads, then you can start uh, spending more and more and more to where you can actually scale and grow the business itself. So yeah, guys, hope you all enjoyed this video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you have any questions, drop them below in the comments. If you're interested in me running your ads, click the link below, have Nick Terrio run your ads. If you're interested in me mentoring you on a monthly basis, click the link below, have Nick Terrio mentor you. And lastly, if you want my Facebook ads course, where it goes from intermediate to advanced on the creative side, click the link below for Nick's Facebook ads course. So but yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Have a good rest of your day and peace out.